Hey, it's Lauren, and um, I just wanted to say, I don't worry, I've not neglected my YouTube channel. It's just I've been really, really busy these past couple of weeks, and that's why I've not been on so much, and that's why I've not done a video in ages. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not the best today. I've got really bad hair fever. Uh, my eyes are sore. My nose is sore. It's it's horrible. Um, also, there was a few things I wanted to update you on uh, that I've been doing in these couple of weeks. Sunday, I did a thing called Race for Life, and it's uh, basically for cancer research, the charity. And what I did was um, I did a 5k run. Uh, and I finished in 49 minutes so I was really chuffed with that, I really enjoyed it as well, it was so, so good um, also there's a lot of people there, some inspiring stories about people who've beaten cancer or oh, they're still, like they've beaten it once but now they're going to beat it again because it's like, you know, second race they've got um, you know, and I really enjoyed yesterday and it was a fun day plus the weather was really nice um, but the other thing today is like it's miserable outside, it's raining, which is horrible really. Uh, yeah, I did that, I got a medal, I'll show you my medal now, it's pink. Here it is. And I'll, I'll zoom in for you because it's like, and it's shiny. Race for Life 2014, it's got the Cancer Research logo on it, and then it's got Cancer's Going Down on the uh, strap. Yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Um, also, I started doing a whip placement at this shop, this charity shop, that I'm working at, at the moment, and the staff are so lovely, and I enjoy going there. I go there. Uh, four days a week so I go like today I've been today and then tomorrow I'll go again and then Wednesday's my day off and then Thursday Friday is my last two days I went there so that's going to be going on for a couple of weeks because I need to get some experience in retail really so that's what that's what that's what that is for uh, what else oh also I haven't done a video yet but I may do um, the other day, last last week uh, on Wednesday, I went out and bought a Benefit uh, push-up eyeliner, the gel one. And I've got to say, um, it, is, it is easy to apply, sort of. Um, and also, I'm a bit sceptical about the waterproofness because it rained the two days I was wearing it and it smudged slightly on my eyelids, like up here. So I wouldn't say it's that waterproof because, like, you know, unless it means waterproofing as if you cried it wouldn't, like, smudge. But rain, I don't think it would be suitable for, like, when it's wet outside. But it's just my opinion. That's what I've experienced. Um, yeah, but if it was more... Yeah, but I tried it also when it was dry. And it was hot as well. So, again... Like, heat and wetness don't go really well with uh, the gel liner, I don't think. Or maybe it's because I've not put it on right, I don't know. Because uh, I did read the instructions and it said, basically, um, just whichever style you want it, use the brush that way. Well, the pen is what, the, what it is. But, yeah, I tried that out and I've got the remover as well. Um, again, I kind of like 50-50 with the remover because... Sometimes it can get all off, sometimes it doesn't. You need to like help it get away from your eyes. Um, so yeah, I think you probably have to use a cleanse with it as well as the remover. For what I paid for it as well, 1450 it's quite a lot to ask for a remover for your eyes. Because I didn't want to get just the eyeliner and not get the remover. I wanted to get both. So yeah, I got them both and obviously... It's so, alright for what I would definitely suggest if he was thinking about liquid and gel I'd say gel is easiest and it won't smudge like when you're putting it on but um, and more precise of how you want it and how your lines go and stuff like that but whereas the liquid liner it won't once it's dry 
and it's raining outside it's not going to smudge and you know make your eye look all patchy like a panda but yeah um i was thinking what else i haven't told you uh i know i'm going on holiday in six weeks so that'll be good i'll be going down to new key uh in cornwall and that'll be nice it's not only nice when we go in august so i'm gonna really enjoy that but i'll take some pictures and i'll take some vlogs for you and you can see them on youtube um i probably might not vlog that much whilst i'm on holiday because i'll be on the beach most of the time getting some tan uh what else <sighs> oh yeah i got some shoes as well uh over the weekend they're really nice but my mum and dad didn't really like them. She was like, what are they? I was like, the sandals. And she's like, it's not something you'd wear though. I was like, it is. And she's like, yeah, but why though? I think sometimes people have different tastes. And that's where my mum me come in sometimes. Like, she'll, she'll look at a dress and go, that's beautiful. And I go, oh, I don't think it is. I won't wear it myself. But that's where me and my mum sometimes, like, we, we don't agree on most things clothes wise or shoe wise and that's fine because you know I'll say to her well you're not wearing it then I'll go well it'll suit you but I don't think it'd suit me sort of thing you know that's because I never asked my mum to get me anything like that unless I'm with her and then I go well it's all right but there was one time we actually agreed on something was was like the last year or the year before we went and saw um this really nice maxi dress and it was really long and it was very patterned and everything it was it was very bright as well and she said um come have a look and see what you think she said i don't know whether you like it or not so i was like right okay so we had a look and basically i liked it it was nice so yeah um also i don't know whether uh if there is anything else to tell you uh, yeah I'll try and do on Wednesday I'll try and do a benefit eyeliner tutorial and let you see how it glides on and stuff and then if it does smudge I can show you where it smudges like on my eyelid because it does smudge so there has been times when I've caught it as well just lightly and I mean lightly whilst I've been at work and I've gone like that and I've gone oh my eyeliner because it's come off like a, a tiniest bit of black but it's smudged a lot like you can tell the difference between that eye and that eye smudge sort of thing so I had to go into the toilets and sort that out uh, so yeah um, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you oh going back to the sandals I'll show you now before I go off topic Sorry about my room, by the way. It's not normally like this, I'm telling you now. Yeah, that's what they are. That's what they're like from the top. But then when you get to the side, that's what they're like. But like I said, everyone's got their own different opinion of what shoe wear and what clothes they like. I just thought they were really nice, so I got them. So yeah, I thought they'd be ideal. So, excuse the sniffing. I'm sorry, I'm really ill. Um, what else? Uh, sorry for the ermine. I'm trying to think. I think that's about it. Everything that is that is everything. Unless I, f I figure out when I've done this video that I've not informed you about anything. So, uh, basically that is everything that I've told you. And that's kept you updated. Obviously, I'll try and do as many videos as I can before I go on my holidays, but it just depends because obviously I've had a, a with Sunday me doing my run. I was exhausted yesterday. I was, I was really tired, and then obviously this morning I woke up and my hair fever was really bad, and I was just like, oh, it's horrible. So I'm hoping that goes t tomorrow because I don't really want to be in work sneezing everywhere. It's horrible. Uh, so yeah. So that's everything. I just hope you liked the video. It was a little bit longer than usual. It usually is, but just wanted to let you know and everything. So you have now. All right then. Don't forget, like if you like the video, and subscribe down below. See ya.